Hey folks, Mr. Bowtie here. Keep banging home that subscribe button on your screen so that way you can stay up to date on all the great local sports coverage not found on TV or in a cheap web stream. And don't forget to hit me up on Twitter at Mr. Bowtie1982. It's fast, it's free, and you're gonna make my dogs think I'm the best person in the world. Thank you so much and enjoy the show. Last year, Georgetown beat Corpus Christi Ray in the fourth round of the 5A playoffs in San Antonio. The Eagles went on to claim the 5A state championship. Georgetown moved over to Region 3 in the recent realignment. They were knocked out a couple of rounds ago. Region 4 left wide open for Ray to make it to the state semifinals. Surprisingly, for the first time in school history in baseball, of course, Corpus dominated in baseball by Cal Allen, by Moody by Sinton, by so many other teams that through the years that Ray has not had a chance to get to the semifinals. In their way, at least in the fourth rounds, to match up with Bernie Champion. The Chargers were not thought of to make much noise in the playoffs as they finished third in district, but they upset Bulverde Smiths and Valley in the second round of the playoffs last week to get to the fourth round, and they're looking for their first state quarterfinal appearance since 2016 when they fell victim to Forrest Whitley Mania. So how the matchup play out and who would move on to the state quarterfinals? Well, let's check out all the action. Bernie ISD Athletic Director Stan Leach was quite a wrestler in his days. So is Bill Goldberg, the famous wrestler and football player's son Gage is a catcher for the Chargers. Maybe we'll see Leach and the older Goldberg wrestle someday. Though it would not happen on this day. The series itself was its own wrestling match, but without the annoying Dwayne Johnson yelling, Can you tell? what Mr. Bowtie is cooking. The series was cooking up just fine. Teams split the first two games, leaving the third and final game to decide the match and who would play Leander Rouse next week. Game three had an unusual start and small ball. We've been in a lot worse positions and we've come back. Uh, we're definitely not a team to give up when we get down. And um, we just knew we had the fight in us the whole game.
we got to realize that one error is just really a fluke, and they weren't hitting me really that hard anyways all day. So just got to keep doing it and let it happen eventually. Small ball has been the, a big way for us to win big games. Um, bunts, sack flies, small hits, moving runners over, anything we can do to get uh, a small advantage just to be able to get uh, win the game. They were attacking me a lot with all speed and I was sitting well. My 2K approach was solid. Uh, I was uh, competing at the plate and I knew that fastball was going to come and ran in. I just casted the barrel, got the hands out, hit it hard down the line. got in the game was two runs off a first inning error on a bad choice by the Bernie champion shortstop. Other than that, it was all champion. Two sacrifice flies and an Evan Cool double gave champion the lead. Aiden Smith again threw a gem with only two hits allowed, got out of trouble twice, and the Chargers won 3-2. Much more businesslike. Yesterday, we were, I'd say we were a bit more kind of joking around. That's, that was our fault yesterday, I think. We got more businesslike today. We knew we had to do it. And I mean, we did it today. We fight for each other, we play for each other, we stay within us, and no matter what we hear from the outside, we believe in each other and we play our best ball. We fought hard the whole way. Uh, I don't think anybody's really expected us to get as far as we have, and we've kind of, um, we're exceeding expectations and we'll continue to exceed them. The Chargers come from behind series win, sends them to the quarterfinals for the first time since they fell victim to Forrest Whitley mania in Alamo Heights in 2016. Remember, the Chargers hadn't even been to the playoffs this decade before 2020. 23. They'll take on Leander Rouse. Rouse trying to make it to the state semis for the second time in three years. Oddly enough, in 2023 and 2021, they finished fourth in district. Champion, of course, finished third in their district, so we'll see a third place or fourth place district finisher in the state semifinals. Reporting from San Antonio, I am Mr. Bowtie.